Someone sent it to us. Piece of candy. Hey guys, crew blown way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Melanie. And we are back with Batwoman. We're previously We had Diggle! We did have Diggle. And that's all that matters. No, we got to do the poll and we gotta do so many other things. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Mary and Pam did stuff. Oh. I don't know what's going on there. We're gonna find out soon what they're doing exactly. Uh, she kissed her on the forehead and she went, wow. Yeah, they did that. So yeah, so I don't know what's going on with Mary and Pam. Uh, uh, the power came back to Pam. She got her color back in her. She wasn't just pale. I thought she was just a pale ginger. And <laughs> she apparently is a less pale ginger. Oh, yeah. And then uh, Mary did not look withered away or anything after it happened. That is true. She so it was a euphoric. Wow. I suppose. Um, and then we also had a poll regarding the buzzer that Diggle and Jada found. Oh, yes. Which says, do you think that the Joker's buzzer will help Marcus? 13% said that it would help him. Oh, well. 23% said that it will do nothing. And 63% said that it will make it worse. Which is very Turn possible. Turn his brain to mush. Make it mush. Mush. Joel says he will get buzzed and become more like the Joker. <laughs> I think we all get turned into the Joker whenever we get a little more buzzed. Um, Sonic Burst says, with all of Jada's resources, I think the buzzer will help him. So there you go. That'd That's good. be good. One person with hope. Spencer, who says the buzzer will do nothing because Marcus's condition is past the point of the buzzer's ability to cure him. Okay. So we got all three right there. Look at that. Josh Bedford says, even in a superhero world, this idea seems kind of silly. <laughs> <laughs> Which I get you. I don't know. Like I agree. It's like the idea is like, well, if the gun almost killed him, maybe we Let's shoot him again, shoot him and he'll be better. <laughs> I don't know. That's, On the other side. I don't know if that works that way, you know? Uh, Cab says, I think the Joy Buzzer will fix him for a couple episodes, but then he will start to have memories of him being crazy and change back. Shouldn't we hit him, like, with the reverse buzzer? Like a sad buzzer? Well, I think the idea of the Joy Buzzer... It's kind of like a joy buzzkill, and it gets rid of joy in your life, so he doesn't feel joy. So we need like a, we need the opposite of a buzzer. Mm. What's the opposite of a buzzer? Grounded. A, a dinger. I don't know. Grounded. Yeah, like electricity was <laughs> the opposite of electric current. Like what's the opposite of a grounded. buzz? What's the opposite of a buzzkill? Oh, the life of the party. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's the idea of a, a joy buzz. It's kind of like a buzzkill, right? I think it's, I think it's the idea. The Joker's joy buzzer. I don't know. I don't know. He seems to try to be the life of the party, so I don't quite agree with this. We had more, one more from Alex, the patron, who says, At this point, I think the way they go with his character can be very nice. But I hope he won't become the Joker, but more likely become an, his own character, who has parts of the Joker that he will overcome by either becoming good again or developing his own villain personality. Okay, I would like that, his own little persona. Yes, I agree as well. Oh, shoot, I better read Marcus the Boss as well, who says, I think it will begin to seem like he's getting better, but then he will slowly get worse. I don't think there will be redemption for him. So either they make it worse or they kill him. Also, Diggle! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> this is so not me. You underestimate yourself, Mary, just like your friends always have. Okay, so an apprentice? They all have claims denied by you. Perhaps if you spent a little more time... Are we gonna kill him? You're living in your car. You're drowning in a lifetime of death. No, close your mouth! Bite it! Suddenly. Just kill that guy. He's not dead yet. They're gonna call you unhinged, use way too many puns, but if you just do what feels right, <laughs> they can't stop you. Pam. Oh, why is she bleeding? Who knows it's happening again. Again. <laughs> okay. Looks like uh, it's getting more and more painful. Now she's okay? bleeding. I'm fine. Oh, her eyes look less green. Let's go. Right? Yeah. Your deal with Renee for your freedom was a scam, which means you're a wanted criminal. 
You wouldn't risk coming back here unless there was something deeper going on. So what is it? She cares about Mary. Deep? There's something about Mary. There's no need for insults. <laughs> Besides. I got the tickets. I'm about 20 minutes away. So pack up. I'll come by to grab you. Where are we packing for? <laughs> hey. Hey. How, how did you know we were... Luke called thinking I could help? Is that a problem? No. Good. Okay. Feeling good. Now that that's sorted. <laughs> As I was waiting for the next line. <laughs> yeah. oh. When were you going to tell everyone that you had the joy buzzer this whole time? Oh, you really think I was going to let a psycho killer loose in the city I spent my career protecting? Now I'm confused. Are we talking about Alice or Pamela? It's a good line right there. I gotta go. <clears throat> Man, I even feel the awkwardness. They're doing a great job. It's just so awkward. <laughs> Cringe. Who turned it on? Jada. Oh. oh. I get it. This isn't your fight. Give me all your power. I'm not gonna make you do something that you don't want to do. Thank you. But I still need your help. Is she taking all of it? You're hurting me. <laughs> she doesn't care. <laughs> Let me go. There's the blood. Okay. I was like, does anyone work on this dam? <laughs> She's alive. Where are all the damn people? Here. <laughs> I'll call it in. Go search the place. See if there's anybody else. Yeah, look for any damn intruders. I should have been making these a long time ago. Oh, last thing. She is there and you fail. I'm curious, though. If the roles were reversed, <laughs> would Pamela be sitting here risking everything for you right now? Mm -mm. <laughs> you think about that. Seriously? <laughs> what? Seventy-two hours of this, and she's singing like a canary. Ah! Where's the prank? I'll take whatever Jada throws at me. I'm getting Mary back, but I'm gonna need help. That woman, I'm here. What do you need? Tell Alice to stop drinking. <laughs> <laughs> they knew. Oh, she's driving. I thought they were getting pulled over. Yeah, I thought so too. That's her. That's true though. Alice is gonna want to save Mary, you know? So like, she's gonna help. The grapple hook or something? You want her to come flying through the rear doors? It's <laughs> to kill her. tried to stop her for months until he realized he needed me to set the trap. So what do you suggest? You want to stop Pam? You need her. But she looks out of commission. It can't possibly be that this is actually who I am and that people like me. You're a portable battery, Mary. And you're all out of charge to listen to a Kelly Clarkson song and move on. <laughs> Says the Arkham inmate, still pretending she's stuck in a children's fairy tale. You, wow. Mary, you know Pam's doing bad stuff. Okay. Major point. You know what? Don't even get me started on Daddy's little Robocop with the Queen of Unemployment. I didn't even say anything. Yeah, but you're here! <laughs> Are you? Now she knows. Get a hatchet! It's not the actual hatchet. They're bound to have a damn hatchet. I'll never stop! <laughs> this episode has been for you. All the puns. Has been. <laughs> the whole damn episode. <laughs> Pam, damn, Pam. Oh, gosh. She's killing the damn person. <laughs> See, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to put you in danger of exerting yourself past the point of no return. I'm going to stab her with and the fluid. And after everything you've done you have more the fluid? Mm -hmm. I owe you so much. Extracted it from... Marcus? Maybe. The chemical agents blocked Pam's ability to mind control me, meaning it must have weakened her substantially. So what do we do with it? If Mary drinks it and Pam draws her energy, it could weaken her enough for you to get the upper hand. Mm. Mary. How much are we talking? If I had to guess, every last drop. No! It could kill her. We're not doing that. 
We need to. <sighs> Finally. Good. So we're going to stop she's one willing to risk her life, and she's fighting to not do it. I won't burn her. What did you do? She stopped herself from becoming you. <laughs> okay, so she still has. I enough. like his music. <laughs> Sorry. She still has what? She still has enough power to fight. Oh, she like makes vines and fights with those. Those are cool. That's clever. I like that. It's got like two whips on this. Yep. I like it. I like the, yep, the turns and the acrobat. Acrobatics. Oh, uh, no longer. Like stretching out. Back. Oh. So do these vines have a mind of their own? I mean, they right have now? to do an extent, right? Because the squirreling found her from Mary. So there's probably some sentience to them. That's true. Remember freaking, was it Fred? Frank? Never. <laughs> Come on, Luke. Come on, Luke. I like the, there's no voice but my voice. I like watching him overcome. Oh, cool. <laughs> That's neat. Uh, okay. The city is worth saving. At least it is to me. Leaving her there for... I guess the police who? and Arkham and she's too weak right now because of what they did. And she needs Mary to get power. I, right? So she okay. shouldn't have too much power. You came back to Gotham because you care about her. I'm sorry, who are we talking about? Mary. <laughs> so I suppose this means that you'll step in and make a deal with the mayor for my freedom. Nah. You're on your own. <laughs> okay. Oh, left it for Renee. Is that why? So not for the cops. No running, no rules, but it means doing things my way for once. So what's it gonna be? Close the damn door! Hmm. Sophie Moore told me about an off-the-grid island. Oh. The plants that worshipped and industry doesn't exist. Hmm. Sounds like a fantasy. Close. It's called Coriana. Interesting. Okay. I like how it comes back around. Sure, and it's related to previous local found dead. She stopped it from total collapse. What are we looking at here? But the dam still broke. Oh, uh, water. Keep there have been reports eye. of flooding all over Gotham. Admit what you've done. Turn yourself in before you do any more damage. Oh, no, water. Yes, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> the sign says keep dry. <laughs> Melanie, the water! That's the water, Why didn't you say Aaron? so? It's the damn water. The damn water! Well, that felt almost like a damn finale. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, the things, like, we were, like, going against Poison Ivy, kind of getting Mary back, like, kind of, like, wrapping things up, getting our next villain kind of set up. Like, it just felt like when you go through, like, a finale of, like, we got to finish this up, and then move on to this. Yeah. So... Which I know there's supposed to be like another break coming up in Batwoman, but I think it's like after next week. But after watching this episode, it almost makes me feel like it's, it's this now. Week. <laughs> so maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know. But, uh, no, what, what did you think? I liked the episode, and I figured, I'm like, I know Aaron's loving this right now. All of these puns back uh -huh. to back. Renee Sayer, all the Pam, Pam, all the damn puns. All the damn puns. <laughs> No, I do like, I don't want to be Renee Sayer. I'm like, Renee Sayer. That's so good. <laughs> I like that one. So, it was a fun episode, along with a very action-packed episode. We had a car chase. We had some hand-to-hand -hand combat between Batwoman and Pam. And then we had um, just a lot in yeah. here. I mean, the car chase was 
Okay. It wasn't like a car chase per se. Like it wasn't like the ambulance was trying to escape. No, that like woman I said, it was a car chase. <laughs> or anything. So, but it was there. Um, usually the Batmobile stuff isn't the most like. Oh my gosh! I can't believe they did that. The yeah. fight was okay. Yeah, uh, I mean, I liked some of the choreography in it. It was sure. enjoyable. I liked her choice of weapons. That was enjoyable. Um, execution wasn't quite there for me. I didn't feel but... blown away by the fight. No. Which, like, I feel like I've seen uh, the actress for Poison Ivy do more before. But I don't know if it's just like, well, here's what we're going for. And she wasn't able to really kind of flex that muscle. Or what? Like, I feel like I've seen her do more in Agent Carter. Oh. Okay. And you've seen her in other stuff. Yeah, like Legend of the Seeker, she did a lot, but I cannot remember, like... Move-wise and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, all the choreography that she's done. Sure. And then who... Like, did she have a stunt double for Agent Carter? I mean, I'm sure. So maybe they had a lot more double yeah. work, and this is actually her performing I'm, the stunts. Maybe. I'm sure Haley Atwell had a stunt double and stuff, too, and whatnot, but... Um, I'm glad that we went through with Mary though and got a uh, got a way to reach her. Like you, the, we had everyone there, even Alice coming back. And having Alice is always fun. Like her pairing off with different people always just plays well. Mm -hmm. Like I like watching her and Ryan together. I like when she like it's Sophie and Renee talking and she just kind of like <laughs> in there out of nowhere <laughs> and Sophie like looks at her. Why? And then yeah, they both have the whys and stuff. Like she's just fun and I really enjoy that actress. Like, her um, just eating the cherries in the middle of talking. I'm like, you know, they probably did not tell her to do that. That seemed like a very, like, actor's choice. <laughs> so. Sure. Just, like, the things that she does. It's just so much fun to watch her perform. Sure. Um, but with the Mary stuff, I'm glad that we had a line where, like, she, even still, she was upset about Ryan, and, you know, Luke, and even Alice, and, mm -hmm. you know, all that. But then we get to the point that she killed someone. And like, that was kind of like, she didn't kill the guy that she was the healthcare dude, right? Because no. at first I thought she did, and then you hear him like, ur, 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 you know, and like, okay, we're well, still alive. And then you get to like the dam, and she's like, we're gonna kill a bunch of innocent people. Like, I'm not gonna do that. So like, she had a line that she's like, I don't wanna kill. So when she hears that she did kill, like that's what she, like she's a doctor. She wants to help people, she wants to save people. She doesn't want to kill people. So I'm glad that there was still like enough Mary in there that that's where she's like, no, I couldn't have done that. I did that, and that's where I'm drawing the line. And then like, I'm curious to see how that stays with her because we see that after scene where she's looking at the doctor, or the the hunter, and the, the, the death and stuff. Yeah. And I, I didn't really read what all it said. I think it's after this. Local outdoorsman found dead at lake outside Gotham leaves wife and two children behind. So, and there's a little boy, and then there's an older one there too. But no, I mean that's. I, I'm curious because, like, sure, there's that line where you can be like, you know, she can feel that the poison ivy aspects out. Mm -hmm. So there was definitely something in there influencing it. But there's that line of like, what was Mary and what wasn't Mary? You know, like she had enough to be like, I don't want to do this. So. Was it like, did the spoiling take over with instincts? Was it like what Alice said, where she didn't know it happened? She was, you know, trying to flung protect herself and, and flung him away, away, and there's a branch, and he just impaled onto it, you know, and that's just what happened. So, I don't know. I'm curious to see what happens with her and how much, like, that haunts her. Because, like, we've already had Luke dealing with his own, like, anxieties and stuff True, like that. which I think we overcame in this episode. Sure. So, I'm hoping... That everything's now squeaky clean with him and that he's now able to perform as yeah. Batwing. Which we might need with Marcus, you know? Like, I like the For idea sure. of, like, what happened with Marcus was haunting him and things, you know, his death, not death. You know, like, he, I'm supposed to, I, I was supposed to have died, but they brought him back with a flower, you know? Like, it was kind of left on his decision, but then he didn't get the decision, so he feels like he should have been dead, which they kind of covered a little bit, but I like the there are no voices only my voice I, I like that line of like clear my head of all the anxiety and the crazy stuff and everything I'm here I'm in control don't let all that stuff control me I, I, I kind of liked it yeah. like 
Sometimes, like, sure, like, CW goes a little over the top with different things and, you know, like, hard lines of, well, you can't have too much in the middle of gray and this and that. You got to be really far this way and really far this way, you know? <laughs> so, like, he's so overcome with it that he just shuts down and can't do anything. But I like the idea of him, like, here, like, clear my head, go in, focus here. I that was cool. I don't know if I like his mask, though. Being able to flip up like that? I mean, it's okay, but I think they... I don't know if they do it too much, and if they're going to do it that much, maybe they just shouldn't have that mask like that. Yeah. Because it also... It seems... I don't know. It almost... the the It seems thin and cheap. Okay. And at one point, yeah. he lands, and there's no one around, and he goes... And looks at the turbines, and then it cuts away and shows something else. And it comes back to him, and he goes... I'm like, can he not see in that? And if he can't see enough to look at the turbines, I think there's a problem with the mask that we should resolve, you know? Well, he also, it was not working at that point. Hmm? It wasn't working at that point. The mask wasn't? Right. No, it was. The technology wasn't working to its fullest potential yet because he had to overcome his anxiety for it to work. I don't know. Like, that, once he got grabbed, it started freaking out on him and stuff, and he had to calm down. I think it was... Usually it's been okay until he hits a really anxiety-filled moment. And then he flashes back and then shuts down. So I don't know. I guess. Maybe. I don't know. It was just a weird thing where I'm like, what was the reason to open your mask then? Then, I know. And it does seem counterproductive that he wants to be known, you know, a man of color that is representing someone of the bat team. Like, that was one of his, like why he drew the picture, why yeah. his dad developed this. Yeah, what if we and had then, a, a black Batman instead of just the, the Bruce Wayne? And know? then he's covered the whole time. Like, sure. it seems counterproductive. Like, yeah. you want to be able to, like, have a mask like Batwoman, you know? Like, yeah. where some of your identity is seen. Sure. And I mean, like, maybe it's not as big of a deal now since we have Ryan of, like, the idea that he was looking for, of, like, uh, you know, what if we had a person of color as Batman? Because, like, now you have Batwoman, who is a person of color, and a woman, you know? So True. it is different than Bruce Wayne being Batman. True, some rich blimp. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, but it was just that moment there where I'm like, I don't know if I like the usage of the mask for a few things. I think it looks nice, and I'm sure, you know, it's, well, the comics look like this, so this is what we're going to do for Batwing. And yeah. the motivation he has, I think, gotcha. is a good idea for motivation, you know, if, mm-hmm. if that's a big point of what why he wanted to do it. But maybe we, maybe at some point we change the mask. Maybe. It's just very Iron Man-esque. Like his dad made this based on a drawing he did as a kid, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. So maybe by next season he makes some adjustments and maybe he loses some of it or something. Yeah, and I wouldn't turns be mad. into contacts for his... <laughs> I don't know about contacts, but you know what I mean? Like give him some uh, Nightwing, Nightwing kind of over the eye things you know what i mean yeah or okay. sure goggles with big ears on them and stuff like like I don't know. techie goggles we could do something like that because he's techie that would be so cool yeah and maybe like they can do some zoom in stuff yeah <laughs> i don't i don't know but other than that it's like my least favorite thing of the batwing like a character suit thing like what they've done with luke yeah i think it's been a constant complaint yeah like i didn't like it to begin with based on the idea of what he had but it's just like here, like there's so many times he went. I'm like, okay, I get it. And the one, he, like I understand when he's going to talk to Ryan, and you got to like lift it up and you're gonna talk to Ryan, right? Right, and it's your own voice coming through versus like modulated sure. type voice. Yeah, or going through a microphone or whatever you gotta do. Mm-hmm. But when no one's around and you're just looking at the turbine like explode, like the only reason they're really doing it is being like. Hey, there's Luke. He's in the Batwing suit, you know? It's not a stunt double. Yeah. I don't know why you're thinking that. But you can do the same thing by showing the the thing you showed earlier of the here's my face digital stuff. You know, the Iron Man kind of look. Yeah, it reminds me of what they did with Supergirl. Sure. In the the Supergirl thing. I don't like it. (laughs) But it's it's like Iron Man. It's like uh, John Henry. I just don't like it. So, I don't know. Um. The we didn't kill Pam, and we didn't send Pam to Arkham or prison or anything. Yeah, Pam to Coriana. Yeah, which I think is a good place to send her for a. The idea of her, 
I mean, she, what she was doing here seemed pretty bad. She didn't seem like the nicest lady. Who, <laughs> like, Pam? Yeah, like I oh. get, I get the idea of like environmentalist, like they're destroying our planet. They aren't being regulated. Yeah. They they have all this money, so they just pay, you know, senators or whatever to pass the laws they want, and like I, I understand the corruption side of all of it and stuff too, but like just use your vines to go destroy the plant, you know, instead of like destroying the dam that destroys half of Gotham City and all these people that just live in it that mm-hmm. aren't really related. And like, how many of them are just gonna be like just poor people that aren't really, they, they have yeah. no choice, there's nothing there, right? Like they're it's, just- It's the cheapest place to live because of these chemicals, you know? Sure, yeah. So, I don't know, there's a few things like that where I'm like, I, I get your issue. You're, you're, what you're doing is probably not good, you know? Yeah. It's to an extreme, and you don't understand your consequences. Like, do things that are going to damage those companies then and shut them down rather than just killing off a bunch of people. I do like her background story and her explaining why she was so into plants um, because her brother um, was sick with asthma and her mom deep, like, dug deep into... um, Herbal stuff. Yeah. Herbal medicine. Yeah. So I really liked that. Um, and, and like he the water was poison and they all should have been sick but the brother didn't make it to 13 you know that's a sad story I get that it's like there's a backstory there for why she has the herbal background and why she hates you know big corporations that are polluting the planet like all that makes sense I wonder if we can get um, there was the what was it Desert Rose right was the flower that mm-hmm. was grown on Coriana Cor- Cor- Coriana is it possible that because of poison ivy being there, can we get the crops grown any again? more of that flower? Like, is there any more left that we could start growing that because poison ivy has this control? Maybe of she can find the seeds in the ground or something because Alice burnt it all. Sure, but I just wonder if there's anything left that they can do anything with. But maybe. Sure, and I hope that we'll see like a throwback to it or something. Sure. I mean, uh, shoot, what was her name? The girl that was on that, um, Sophia. Like, Alice stabbed her with that thing that when you pull it out, she'll come back to life, right? Right. So, like, we could always have her back again, too. Maybe Mm -hmm. her and Pam working together. I don't know. Was that this season? No, season two. Okay. That's the end of season two. This season has been all about the the fallout from Sophia and Black Mask and Kate, who was thinking that she was, uh, what was the daughter's name? Crap, I don't remember. I forget whatever the, the daughter's name that was dead was, but thinking that she was her, right? Like, we had all that kind of stuff last time. And then in this one, we've been dealing with a fallout of all those things being released, and now they've announced that it was Batwoman's fault that all that stuff was released. Mm-hmm. And, of course, Jada and Ryan's family history. Yeah. So now, like, I don't know what Batwoman's going to do about that. Do they get back? When do they get back Wayne Tower? Because Marcus still has it. Marcus is now waking up. They didn't get to work on it at all, like trying to fix him or anything. They still have the buzzer, so I don't know. If they would have given the sun back to Jada, he wouldn't have gotten wet. So I don't know. Um. No, I thought that. Jada knew Ryan's identity or Batwoman's identity. Okay. I thought Diggle told her. No. Okay. Nope. Did not. They didn't talk about that at all. Um, he even, he didn't even say her whenever he visited Luke. He just said, can you give this to Batwoman or can you whatever to Batwoman. Okay. So. I am sure, I think he knows. Like, I know, like, the other big heroes knew. I don't remember if Diggle interacted with Batwoman much. Yeah, I don't remember. And now she's also changed, so I don't know if Diggle's interacted with Ryan at all. That's true. I think he knew Kate Kane. So, I don't know. I don't know for sure if Diggle knows who Batwoman is. But he knows Luke works with Batwoman. So, he talks to Luke. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I suppose, uh, hop on over to Q&A's. That's our Q&A bell. We're going <laughs> to jump over there 
right now over on Twitter, which we do this for uh, all of our live shows. So if you're watching along with any of the CW Arrowverse stuff, we had Peacemaker, Book of Boba, all that, follow us over on Twitter. You can find links down in the description below, at Blind With Crew. Our first one comes from Silent Angel. Hey guys, so it looks like Poison Ivy is done for this season at least. I think, which I was shocked by. I really liked her. My question is, what are your expectations for the rest of the season? So we're definitely going to have to deal with Marcus. I'm hoping that we tie Coriana back in and that like maybe we find a cure of the Desert Rose being redeveloped and that we see how Renee and Pam are doing on the island. They send a Desert Rose and maybe that helps Marcus. Maybe. So maybe that's how we can tie things back all in together. So maybe... I really hope that we're not completely done with Poison Ivy, that we still make references and we still um, have some communication with them. Sure. And we could always bring her back again. Like, Kate Kane's out there, now we have Poison Ivy out there. Like, we could have them show back up for something or another at some point. But, but I mean, Marcus is going to escape right now and cause some commotion. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. We're going to have to catch him. I imagine... If they're wrapping it up this season, it's going to be, we have to find Marcus, stop whatever he's doing, and use a joy buzzer on him. And then I suppose that would work, you know? That's that's the best I, I've I, got I, as I far know. as where we're going for the rest of the season. But, um, Ross Max says, would you want Poison Ivy back in the future? And do you think Ryan and Sophie would make a good couple? Um, I think they're, I think they're cute cute and have like this awkward like realish maybe kind of relationship you think going on like I felt like there was really some awkwardness from Ryan oh yeah um it's very cringy <laughs> sure but I think like that's th th that's the idea right is like right. she's just kind of like I don't want to say bye <laughs> you know like I, I like you too but I'm not gonna say that and I don't know what we're supposed to do and I'm leaving yep so but it's um, the third bat woman. <laughs> sure. It, it's hard to count Julie, uh, what, Pennyworth, as a bat woman. But she did wear the bat suit and helped when, like, Kate was doing stuff. But yes. And I think maybe it's like what we said before. Maybe they had ideas of uh, Sophie with Batwoman because Ryan has taken that place now. They're trying to, like, Put that back together so that they can continue on some of the story beats they want to do. I don't know. Maybe. But um, and then also, yeah, I'm. I wouldn't mind having Poison Ivy back. And depending on what they do, you could use her as just a villain, maybe a little bit of an antihero. Like she doesn't have to be bad, especially with Renee, who's trying to be like, look, you know, McMary's like, we're gonna have to kill everybody. Like, there's definitely some good intentions from Pam. Yeah, for sure. I mean, she's trying to save the planet. And then even what she was telling Mary is that 50 years from now, our plan we're going to come back and our planet's destroyed because we are the ones that destroyed it. Mm -hmm. So she's trying to save it for also the people. Yeah. It's not like she's completely wanting to turn people into plants. No. So it's not like she's completely off the rails. It's... It's just that she's not doing it correctly. In the grand scheme of things, half of Gotham City versus saving the rest of the world is not a terrible trade-off. But you're still just killing a bunch of people that have nothing to do with the issue you have. Like it, and then you're not also not... Like, you need to fix it more at the root cause to stop all the rest of the world from doing the same stuff. Like, if you just stop that one, well, now what about, you know, across the country? Is there any chemicals happening there that are problems, you know? I don't know. Pepsi Queen says, if Gotham City, or just half of Gotham City, does turn on Batwoman, how long do you think it will... Uh, it's going to be before the city uh, forgives Batwoman, or at the very least, takes her side again. I mean, she has to do something to redeem herself. Even the reporter in that news you know, report said, well, wasn't she on the dam and she saved the dam? Mm -hmm. Like, so there's, there's definitely a chance of redemption for her sure. in the city. Here's what I think you do. I think because Batman was such a big influence and people knew him and he helped and people worked with him because he built, built, built up his credit over time, right? Okay. 
in the beginning and in most iterations, the police, uh, it's Batman, and they try to get him, you know? Like, right. he's not on their side, per se. I think maybe this is a way of doing the same thing with Batwoman, where she becomes a public enemy of the city, rather than being, you know, like a friend to the whole police force in the city and cheered upon. She becomes hated on, but still a hero they need. Mm -hmm. Where like you have those elements where it's like, oh, Batman, thank you, you know? But the police also show up and like, get, get him, you know? Okay. So maybe we go that route and we make it where it's not just like, like the crows, we had that kind of before where the crows were after Batwoman, right? And then we and had Crane. Jacob Kane had to. Kane, yeah. He, he chose to shoot at her and go after her. With the crows being gone, maybe you gotta turn more of the city against her and now it's just like, well, we are doing what is right, but nobody's with us. Arrow went through the same kind of stuff. Right. And then, like, we'll end up with, like, a Jim Gordon, which on Arrow, we ended up with uh, Sarah's dad. Yeah, Captain Commander Lance. Lance. yeah. Captain Lance. Commander Kane, Captain Lance. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> but then, like, you know, that was kind of like the Jim Gordon for Arrow. So, hopefully, we will develop a Jim Gordon for here, and it's yeah. not going to be Renee. No, it will not be. But I think that's where you go. I don't know how long it takes before the city turns back on her side. But I think you make her public enemy and then like she's still fighting for the city, but it's not just like she has carte blanche because, oh, it's Batwoman <laughs> and we know that she's good because she saved the city, you know? Because it's also, this is a new Batwoman. True. So I think maybe you go that way. I heard Chicken Noodle Soup says if you if you could pick a superhuman, a superhero, uh, a superhero, metahuman, mutant, anyone with superpowers, to be their sporling, who would you pick? Is there a hero or anything that you would want that to be a spoiling for? we just siphon off of. So, like, you would have powers related to them, right? And mm -hmm. they would suck you to get your, your power. Yeah. Um, He'll hmm. choose any redhead. <laughs> like Poison Ivy? <laughs> I'll be your assistant. Suck me suck dry. Me. <laughs> um, hmm. That's not a bad one. I think it's worse people to be under. You are thinking. Um, I don't know. What do you got? Yeah, nothing. None? Not going with nothing? No one? Yeah, I don't know. Raven. Raven? Mm -hmm. Raven's not bad. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Azeroth Metrion Zenthos. <laughs> you just keep gotta keep saying those words, right? Do anything. Beast Boy. Turn the other powers and stuff. I'm, I mean, thinking more in DC and stuff, but you could expand it to all kinds yeah, of other things. Yeah, I, I was you know? thinking like Spider Gwen even, but then I'm like, eh, maybe like Miles because then he can turn invisible, mm. and that's always fun. Sure. Um, You'd be like a battery then because you'd have like that venom shock thing where he shoots off yeah. electricity and stuff. So, sure, yeah. Um, I Heart Caramel says, Would you have liked it if Mary would have kept her poison ivy powers but without the personality? Um, I mean, yes. That would have been fun to keep that concept in the show. Mm -hmm. However, I don't think that she can fully, you know, come to terms with everything if she still had the powers, you know? Sure. I guess so. I think I know what you mean. Like, you could also, though, be powered and try to help people and stuff, too, and be back in your right mind, which could be useful, especially when you're with Batwoman and Batwing and whatever else, you know? But I think her not having it and getting back to her roots as a doctor <laughs> would be a good thing. The puns. Nonstop. Sometimes they just happen naturally. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I do have a question. What? What's going to happen with the CEO that's just dangling in the roof of this greenhouse? Mm, I don't know. I suppose by the time he those uh, vines rot, he will have made his decision to... Descend to the floor? <laughs> listen to Mary better. Oh, okay. I don't know. Melly, that was not the damn problem of the episode. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know. Sorry for being a Renee Sayer. Someone's bound to find him eventually. I mean, I don't know where they were. Like a greenhouse of some sort. Someone's going to come in and be like, whoa! That's not a pinata. <laughs> you know, yeah, but like, he's going to 
out Mary, you know? Because she's like, I'm a Dr. Hamilton. Sure. And that may be something else she has to deal with. I don't know. We'll have to see what causes problems. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to expect going forward, but there's going to be some, I feel, more repercussions. There's definitely at least a hunter repercussions, right? The, the yeah, but no one can identify her for that. The little oh, kid. the phone. The little kid the filmed The whole it. video, yeah. Like, you didn't see the death, but you saw her do, and he goes, ah, you know? Um, our last Q&A comes from Steven, who says, so I'm not surprised that they're putting Sophie and Ryan together for two reasons. One, they just want Sophie with Batwoman. And two, in the Armageddon crossover on Flash in the future, they had Ryan say that she was married to Sophie and that they were expecting a kid. Hmm. Sure. Um, but they also had some other things in there that may or may not be true. So we'll have to see. I don't want to take for I don't want to take everything that they have in the future as being like ah this is what we're working towards because lots of those future things get changed and aren't exactly right. Right. But I think them having that in there is being like hey we already know that there's kind of some things with Sophie and Ryan going on. Um, let's just put that in there and stuff too. So, right? But no, I'm not surprised about it either. No, I mean, third time's the charm, so. Wait. That's not a pun. <laughs> no. But... All right. Just think about us. What? What do you mean third time? You mean third Batwoman? Yes. Why is it going to be third time? It's her third, it's Sophie's third Batwoman. Oh. So it's not, okay. As long as it's not related to it. I'm so All confused. Right. Need more errors? <laughs> Why are you hit a button? We need to come up with a poll though. What's our no, poll? No, that's my escape plan. No, you can't just this is you can't just use this power willy nilly, Melanie, okay? You hit it when it's time to end and when it's time to begin, and not before or after. Alright guys, that's it for Q and A's. We also need a poll, which for uh, for this week, the poll, just off the top of my head, is uh, the public of uh, Gotham is obviously turning against Batwoman. Do you think Batwoman and her team will fix this by the end of this season, which is only a few episodes? We don't have too much left overall. Oh, really? I think we're within like three or four episodes. Oh, really? Yeah, pretty sure. Or will it be not by the end of the season? We're going to go in the next season with the public still being against Batwoman. With Batwoman being public enemy number one? Maybe not number one, but being a public enemy. Like, there might be like... Poison Ivy who tried to just destroy Dam. <laughs> you know, that Batwoman stopped. <laughs> okay, that's so. fair. But then Batwoman let her go. Well, no, she handcuffed her and then who knows where she went. Ooh. See? Mm -hmm. Loopholes. Go over to patreon.com slash blindwave and vote there. Leave a comment. We'll talk about it next time. Bye. That's it. Hit the damn button. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this damn episode and damn reaction. And we had a damn good time. Right? No. Look at that. She looks so happy. Make sure you guys subscribe for more. Uh, go to patreon.com slash blindwave to find the damn poll. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next reaction. Probably not going to see you again. Bye, guys. See you guys later.